This program is brought to you in part by the partners and friends of Creflo Dollar Ministries. Coming up next on Changing Your World. My, my faith is not the mechanics of, I got to do these 50 things or it'll work. My faith doesn't require but one thing. I believe God loves me. It'll work. It'll work. I, 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 it'll work because I know God loves me. It works because I know he loves me. It doesn't work because I know I said it 10 times. It works because I know he loves me. And if I'm saying it 10, 20 times, it's because I'm convinced on the inside that his love is real and that's coming up out of me not mechanically, but the very essence of who he is, is moving in me. Now is your time to bloom. The 2024 Radical Women's Conference is for every woman who's ready to see the fruits of her labor and walk in her reward. Join Taffy Dollar and special guests for a time of freshness and joy. Text RADICAL to 51555 or visit www.taffydollar.org to sign up today. Don't miss your chance to bloom. This is your world, so let's vow to make it a better place. Let every heart that needs to know you love. Grace is the abounding provision in the operation, the unrestricted operation of the love of God that works through Jesus Christ for mankind, especially for those who depend on him. I don't think you heard me because y'all, you're freaking out. What'd you just say? Grace is God's provision for man's, watch this, give me the words, Lord, I'm excited, I need to calm down. Break, good bullshit. Grace is God's provision for the spiritual uh, insufficiency that was left by Adam and Eve. So everything that happened because of what they did, grace is the spiritual provision for the spiritual realm, grace is responsible for your new man's nourishment. Amen. That's, that's good. Amen. You understanding this, Ben? I'm, I'm, I receive it. And I know some of y'all kind of, oh, I'll say that again. I'm working on it. <laughs> when we get born again, we got this new man. He gave us a new creation. He's responsible for supplying the nourishment of that new creation so that whatever we are inside, we have access to in our lives. So grace ministers righteousness right here. Righteousness is here so I can take a hold of it here. Grace ministers redemption here. Grace ministers everything that your old man lacked, your new man has, and the grace of God is the nourishment for everything you're going to need in life, and it is put in the bank, if you will. You know, you have a food bank. You have this bank where God, he deposits everything by grace in you that you'll ever need. You already are healed. Yes. You already are delivered. You already are righteous. So what's the problem? Somebody says, is, if I is, then why come I ain't? No, 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 no you really is. It's just you got to understand dimensional exchanges. What are you talking about? Well, there is a spiritual dimension where the finished works are finished. <laughs> now, faith operates, and you'll hear it more, it operates in and because 
the love of God. My faith rests in the love of God. I know God loves me. And because I know God loves me, I'm healed. I know God loves me. And because God lo I know God loves me, I I'm provided for. My, my faith is not the mechanics of, I got to do these 50 things or it'll work. My faith doesn't require but one thing. I believe God loves me. It'll work. It'll work. I, 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 it'll work because I know God loves me. It works because I know he loves me. It doesn't work because I know I said it 10 times. It works because I know he loves me. And if I'm saying it 10, 20 times, it's because I'm convinced on the inside that his love is real and that's coming up out of me. Not mechanically, but the very essence of who he is is moving in me. Yes. Faith in his love. So how about this dimensional stuff? Man, I got to keep up with what stuff coming out of my mouth. I, uh, more of my body was under attack. I, I stand here today. I think I've been in pain for about, what, three months? Can't I feel so good today? <laughs> I, feel, I feel so good today. That's why I wore this flower shirt my sister bought me that I promised I'd never wear. It was to demonstrate my independence from pain, my independence from the devil, my independence from the Mosaic law, my independence from everything the devil tried to do. Glory to God. I'm free. Hallelujah. Now, I bought all them books up there. I want to use them. <laughs> what I realized, I was walking one day, and, and that's pain, man. And, and my mind drifted off into, yeah, but why is it not here? I believe you healed me. I'm just like, where is it? <laughs> I didn't say that because I know better. But God weighs my heart. He knew I was saying it on the inside. <laughs> you know how we do, right? <laughs> And I said, I need to know this, if you can help me with it. There's, there's a dimension where it is all done. I am now responsible for the path for that finished work to come to me. Understanding how much God loves me provides the path for the finished work to move from this dimension into this dimension. Y'all yeah. don't understand what I'm saying. Y'all understand what I'm saying. It's not, it looks like it's not done because dimensionally it had made it over. But the things that are unseen are just as real as the things that are seen, for the things that are unseen are eternal. There it is in that dimension. There's my healing in that dimension. There's my prosperity in that dimension. There's my deliverance in that dimension. Don't ever question, did God get the job done? And so, oh, I got it. I was like, okay. I see myself sprinting. God loves me. Oh, I know I got it. He loves me. What am I doing? I'm doing the exact same thing. It's going to sound strange. I'm doing the exact same thing the devil does to put his stuff dimensionally right here in my presence uh -huh, uh -huh. and uses your equipment to get it done. He uses your equipment to deal. He, 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 okay, so you believe this, and so he's renewing your mind to his destruction. And then he's getting it into your mouth. And then you start using your imagination. And the next thing you know, the thing you fear the most has come upon you, and he used your mind, your mouth, your imagination uh, uh, to, to create a path for his dimensional stuff to show up on you. 
I recognize that. I'm saying, oh, no, that ain't happening. I'm, I'm, I'm not telling the devil, Red, that ain't happening. I'm from College Park. That ain't happening. I'm not going to let you. You're not going to use my equipment to destroy me with my, my stuff? You're going to use my mouth? And then I thought about it. And I'm like, yeah, I did say that three times. Not the fact that I said it three times, but I opened myself up to be used by him to bring into manifestations Satan comes to kill, steal, destroy, rather than God came to give you life and give it to you more abundant. I'm, I'm, we're in a constant state of choosing. Constant state of choosing. I'm getting ready to say something. You're getting ready to choose something. I'm getting ready to read something. You're getting ready to choose something. I'm getting ready to think something. You're getting ready to choose something. Oh, I see myself sick. You're getting ready to choose something. That's why you got to meditate in the Word. Somebody says, how long do I need to meditate in the Word? Until you can see yourself doing what you're meditating in. Meditating in the Word is an imen in a moshita. It is a construction of images. And meditating in the Word, constructing images, constructing blueprints, constructing pictures that once constructed, it's hard to get out of your head because you see yourself with it. Meditate in the Word day and night that you will be, you'll make yourself yep. prosperous. <laughs> How? The imagination is used more by the devil than it is by, by God. And in the dimension of that realm, you let that stuff show up on you. Uh-uh. I ain't doing that. I got to work in that thing. And the whole thing, my motivation has changed. My motivation is Jesus. My motivation is not the mechanics. It's Jesus. It's Jesus. I remember in one of our Grace Convention, uh, uh, Minister Mike Smith, it, i never forget this. This guy got up here and started talking about, you know, the Word of God and asked the question, which word? Almost came out my black skin. <laughs> which word? I saw it. Huh. But my tradition, oh, my tradition had got my head where I settled for a cheaper rather than a deeper. And all, all he was doing was rightly dividing and putting, and that's what, that's what this is about. People are going to start grabbing it and getting it and grabbing it and getting it because men of grace and men of God are going to teach beyond their notes. They're going to start teaching out of their heart and out of their relationship and out of their experience with the Holy Spirit. Well, what if, you, what if you get it wrong? Well, we know in part. That's right. Just take it and get, if you want more, take it and you go do something with it. Come on, man. Maybe my part was to just suggest this to you. Yeah. And instead of you going and being critical of what I said, take it yourself. See what you can do with it. Since you're smart, go see what you can do with it, and God will give you some more. That's right. We do it in part. Remember when I told you, I, I think I mentioned this to you. I don't know if I did or not. I might have mentioned it to you. I don't know who I mentioned it to. I was walking the other day. I, I got into walking. You know, because basically when you, you know, you want a sandwich, you, you know, you can walk, you know, you'll be all right the next day, you know. <laughs> I ain't walking because I want to see nothing. I see the same thing, you know. I felt the Lord asked me this question. He says, what do you think one of the biggest problems in, amongst ministers are today? I said, I don't know, God. It's just a lot of stuff. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I said, well, I'd have to include myself in them. So whatever it is, it's, it's, I'm included too. So what do you think it is? He says, their fear of disagreement. Mm. Mm. 
with doctrine. He says, sometimes I might want to cause a stir of disagreement so they can get the deeper. But they're so afraid of being misunderstood that they keep something I gave for a purpose. And all I'm trying to do is to get them to do what they used to do in Bible time. Let's get together and present our thing down there, and let's look at it and see what we can come out with. Yeah. They did it in the book of Acts chapter 15. Do we have to keep all these laws? He said, no, we don't want to burden you with that. But keep on feeding the poor and keep on walking in love. But all that other stuff you ain't got to do no more. You know, you are a converted Gentile. You don't have to keep all of the Jewish stuff no more if you want to. Yep. Wow. We're in a special time. Yeah. This ain't like no other time we have ever had. Things are about to change in such a dramatic way. And grace people will be gracious people. Yes. Yes. So that'll probably help you to understand why I got my flower shirt on. <laughs> Peace, brother. <laughs> Love and the soul. Oh, drink. <laughs> but also the freedom yes. and the deliverance from people. Amen. So, my love is the generator behind my confession. It's the generator behind my renewing mind. It's the generator. See, don't, don't confuse them. See, there was something that motivated what you do, and then you took what you do and made it a principle. And Jesus gets knocked out every time. Well, what about Jesus? Well, I, you know, I, I, all I know if you do this five times, do a lot of little abracadabra, do and take a little salt and you know, put it that way and that way, you, 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 you're getting real close to <laughs> Satan just sneaking in there again, and it won't be long before you will start declaring your independence from God. I need him. God knows I need him. These last two and a half years, I, I've never gone through stuff I went through. And I said, Lord, what's going on? He said, do you know that my grace is enough? I said, oh, I see what's happening here now. And I made sure I got the wisdom out of everything that I had gone through. His grace is enough. It's one thing to say that. It's another thing to live that. Everything has been restored because his grace is enough. And hear what I got out of all of that, that even when I am weak, he's strong. He's strong. He's strong. He was strong during COVID. He was strong, strong during the eyes. He was th strong during, the, during, the, during the, 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 the singles. He was strong, and he is strong. You cannot do this without knowing him. You cannot do this without a personal relationship with him. You got to leave the cheaper. He's trying to take you deeper. How deep is he? How high is he? How wide is he? You got to know him for yourself. Yeah. I'm like, I get it. It's about me and you, Lord. I got it, Lord. And then in that one time, I said, Lord, uh, he told me, he said, you're ready. It was my 40th year in the ministry at that time. He says, you're ready now. I said, what? <laughs> ready for what? He said, you, you're ready to, to do the perfect will that I have for your life. And I asked him, I said, well, I, I 
thought I was, really. <laughs> and I thought I was doing the perfect will. What, 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 what? Where you what, what? Why am I ready now? He said, because of your deliverance from people, no man holds a hook in you to move you from what I want you to do. That's big. Well, Lord, I've been delivered from people. No, I wouldn't. Because if I was, it wouldn't bother me when they say stuff. And then I, re I realized, you know, that envy is a face-to-face -face encounter with criticism. <laughs> People aren't critical for no reason at all. People are critical because of the thing that makes them critical. The motivation behind criticism is envy. I see your shoes fitting and mine won't fit. <laughs> and it's harmful and it's devastating. And the Lord said, that is why I want you to pray for your enemies. Don't get upset by them. I'm showing you what's wrong with them. They may have gone through a level of destruction, or, or you have destruction and, and, and rejection and all kinds of stuff, and that's motivating their, their criticism. Don't mind that. I don't know no flawless, perfect preachers. I don't know it. The problem is you think they exist. They're not on the planet. <laughs> and I, I take great joy in that, praise God, because at least we're on the field fighting the best way we know how Amen. to get the job done. Amen. You sitting over there in the balcony somewhere taking notes, mm-hmm, don't get me to lying about it. No, and, and, and ain't nothing going to change. But we, I've got to, I got to still minister to them. I got to still pray for them. And so on my morning walks, I have a special time where I pray for my enemies. I pray for every preacher that says something nasty about me. I say, Lord, I, I pray for them. Whatever may be going on that causes that, Lord, help them in some kind of way. Yeah. So what happens is it doesn't infect my heart, and I'm releasing a blessing out on, on where they are. Yeah. That's how we do that. We're supposed to be saved, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> God's been so good to me, and I, I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. I feel so good. I have a, a sensitivity towards people with pain that I didn't have that before. I'm so sensitive to pain. And yet Jesus says, I've carried that pain. God will use his goodness to such a degree that it'll start changing your mind about things you used to think about him. I say that to say this. And when I say bag, I mean your money, your prosperity. To all of you who are here, your bag has already been prepared for you. God is going to operate. There will be no more questions about if God's for prosperity. He is working in a place where everybody that left God and left the church, they're going to get a look at you. And when they look at you and they ask you what in the world is going on, you will say to them, oh, this is the Lord's doing. You know not to boast about it. You know not to take no credit about it. You know it was God stirring in the nest. You know he had something to do with this. And the only thing you're going to be left with to do is I got to praise him. I got to worship him. I got to give him the glory. I got to give him the honor. I don't quite know how this happened in the first place, but I know my God is a good God. Hallelujah. Yes, he is. Do you feel like you're just working the mechanics of Christianity? Do you want to know what it means to really know Jesus? In his series, The Essence of Grace, Creflo Dollar reveals the person and mission of grace in the life of believers. Grace ministers righteousness right here. Grace ministers redemption here. Grace ministers everything.
everything that your old man lacked, your new man has, and the grace of God is the nourishment for everything you're going to need in life. And that's why he said, I shall supply all of your need according to his riches and glory through and by Christ Jesus. Order this three message series today for a gift of 20 US dollars or more for CDs or 30 US dollars or more for DVDs. Simply call the number on your screen, scan the QR code, or visit creflodollarministries.org and click eStore today. Staying the same is not an option for the people of God. Grace-led change makes the difference. Meet Creflo Dollar at the 2024 Change Experience Tour in Los Angeles, California on February 2nd or New York, New York on April 26th for an unmatched opportunity for change. Grace is more than a curriculum. Grace is more than a subject matter. Grace is a person. His name is Jesus. God don't need you to be who he is. God's got us covered. Grace is what he does, and depending on him is what we do. It's all in preparation for Grace Life, Homecoming, The Reunion, All Roads Lead Home. So text CHANGE2024 to 51555. Visit creflodollarministries.org or scan the QR code to reserve your spot for change. Everything in God's kingdom works by faith. Now, I remember when Taffy and I started giving, it was a painful thing to give because we didn't have much at all financially. However, we made a decision to be givers. And one of the most quoted scriptures in the Bible is John 3:16. God so loved the world that he gave. Therefore, as Christians, we give. Our giving is an expression of our love. And when you support Creflo Dollar Ministries financially, you are giving to our efforts to spread the gospel all over the world. And in addition to helping millions who are hurting and have vital physical needs, pray about what God would have you to sow at this time. We want to thank you in advance for your support. To support the vision of this ministry to reach the world with the gospel of grace, you may call in to make your financial donations or log on to creflodollarministries.org. God bless you. You can interact with Creflo Dollar Ministries anytime, anywhere. All of this is at your fingertips with our state-of-the-art custom-designed app. With the broadcast feature, you can access your favorite messages, sermon series, and more. Add events to your calendar, set reminders, get directions, share with friends, and even give securely through this platform. Visit creflodollarministries.org slash app or text app to 51555 today. Thank you, partners and friends. Your love and financial support makes it possible to bring this message into millions of homes all across the globe. The preceding program was brought to you in part by the partners and friends of Creflo Dollar Ministries.